Hi guys, my name is Faisal. You are watching Technology in the Future. Bloomberg, Mark German reported that Apple will release a redesigned MacBook Pro this summer. It will be available in 14 and 16 inch models. German did not state if the current 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro will experience any design changes based through iOS developer Delenka Twitter in January that the upcoming MacBook Pro models may not feature a logo on the bottom. Analyst Ming Chiko said in a research note via Mac rumors that the laptop will see a redesign in 2021. In an earlier note from May 2020 via Mac rumors, Ming Chiko said that Apple is working on a 14-inch MacBook Pro essentially, a modification of the higher and 13-inch models, similar to what happened when Apple released the 16-inch MacBook Pro to replace the 15-inch models. It's unclear if the lower and 13-inch MacBook Pro would remain in the lineup if a 14-inch version is revealed. John Prosser of Front Page Tech report that Apple will release a MacBook Air or reintroduction of the MacBook in color offering and a white bezel similar to those of the new 24-inch iMac. It Apple is using colors in its consumer level products. It's possible that Apple sticks with the space gray and silver option for the higher end, which includes the MacBook Pro. And according to a tweet by previously accurate Dylan Card, the MacBook Pro branding might be removed. In March 2020, analyst Ming Chiku released a note reporting on Apple's use of mini LED in new products including the 2021 version of the 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pro. Apple already launched its first mini LED screen in the 12.9-inch iPad Pro, so it's clear Apple is already working on the tech. While an clear report from Digitime suggested that Apple might delay the launch of the mini LED to 2022. Ming Chiko reported in July that Apple is preparing for production of the display tech for a launch in late 2021. Mini LED is a backlighting technology for displays, but several more LED are used when that is currently implemented. This results in better control of the backlight, better image contrast, and greater dynamic range. The MacBook Pro has had an underwhelming 720p FaceTime HD camera for about a decade, but the most had scratching and frustrating feature on Apple's high-end laptops might finally be getting a long overdue update. According to the Landcut on Twitter, the MacBook Pro will actually be getting an updated improved 1080p webcam for the next model which will presumably be the same hardware in the 24-inch iMac. Apple upgraded the webcam in its R in one with a 1080p FaceTime HD camera with an M1 image signal processor and we found it to be a massive upgrade over the 720p model. A Twitter rumor has seemingly leaked small but significant detail about the next MacBook Pro iOS developer Dylan Cut, who previously predicted the M1 in the iMac, claimed the MacBook chip with the branded as the M1X and bring more Thunderbolt channel, more CPU cores, more GPU cores, and greater power draw. The speculation for Apple Silicon in the higher end MacBook Pro models is that Apple will use that good time to reveal the next inline in the M series. Bloomberg Mark German reported that Apple's redesigned 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro will have Apple system on a chip that features a 10 core CPU, 8 performance cores, and 2 efficiency cores, 16 or 32 graphics core options a maximum of 64GB of memory, and an improved neural engine. The graphics cores will increase from 8 to 10. The chip will reportedly by called the M1X, and evidenced by several rumors and Apple's own tags on the YouTube video for its WWDC keynote. On Twitter, Laker Dillon reported that the two models will have the same chip and the same performance, which is a departure from the Intel model which have different chip and DTO options. Apple has been rumored to be including 5G and Face ID support in its laptops. But Bloomberg Mark German reported that those features do not appear to be coming soon. Twitter leaker Dylan also said new MacBooks will arrive in the fourth quarter of 2021 and the economic daily news. 
which has been a reliable source of supply chain information in China, said Apple only began to increase its manufacturing capacity in late June. Finally, Ming Chico reported in July that production for the new MacBook Pro would begin in the third quarter, a timetable echoed by Mark German. In August, Digitime reports that volume production has begun, signaling that a release is imminent. Based on prior Apple Silicon launch, the 16-inch model will likely start at $2,399 US dollar. On Twitter, Lika Dillon reported in August that there will likely be a notable increase in price for the 14-inch as compared to current 13-inch model, which start at $1,299 US dollar. It's likely that the 14-inch MacBook Pro will take the place of the $1,799 US dollar 13-inch MacBook Pro. Connected for more updates and please subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon button. You will take care of yourself. We will meet you in the next video. Bye bye.